SBCT's Bryant Reed was in Oak Island today. So Bryant, they're adding a new member to the team. Yeah, that's right, Anna. Only it's not a person. It's a new piece of machinery that the Oak Island Water Rescue Chief described as small but efficient. If you hear that sound whizzing over your head, no, it's not a bug. It's the Oak Island Water Rescue Team sporting new equipment, and it's a lifesaver. In an emergency situation, time is the difference between life and death. Um, it, time we're spent searching for somebody and trying to locate them could be time that they don't have. The drone is packed with features that can help with rescues at all hours, eliminating the struggle of having to find a person in danger and making night rescues easier with an infrared camera. Uh, you can read the GPS coordinates right off the drone, relay that to the boat and they can, they can plug that in and go directly to the spot. I wanted the full showcase on the drone, so we went to an open field to test it out. Turn to your right a little bit and turn that camera down. You ought to be able to see the, uh, the kayak will be out oh, in yeah. front of you. You see it? Yeah. And even I could tell how it will help. Chief Young admits he's seen a few situations that could have had better outcomes if this tech was available years ago. You know, there's real world applications to this thing that, you know, when I look back now and say, boy, I wish we would have had that then. Already having tested it in ocean waters, the group expects their efficiency rate to improve drastically and says there's always room for improvement, but this is a great start. In Oak Island, I'm Brian Reed, WDCT News. The team currently has three pilots to fly the drone. Chief Young says it's a great start, but he hopes to continue expanding the department's resources to improve both the water rescue team and the safety of the island.